It's the Real Estate Show. We've come to sell DR. Am I still on? they want. This is all about costs in Dominican Republic. Buckle up and welcome aboard. Thank you for tuning in. I am my own producer. If there's anything wrong with the show, it's only my fault. And thanks for taking us over a million views and 10,000 subs. I still need more. Yeah, the watch time isn't up there as much as I'd like it, but get on it. Today, I don't have much video content for you. Oh, I didn't, I didn't really prepare anything visually for you. That's my fault. Lo siento. But so many of you have asked, and thank you for the kind words and uh, recognizing me around the city and um, appreciate it, sharing the content. And so many of you have said, hey, what's it like there, man? What's the uh, cost of living? How's inflation? What's the mortgage rates? How much does an MRI cost? How long does it take to get one? Do you have medical insurance? How much does it cost you after you leave the island after being there for two and a half years? A few hundred bucks. It's a fine. It's like an overstay fee, but the government stays out of your life here. That's what I love about it. Some of what I love about it, most of what I love about it is just the love of your human beings. You know, back in Canada, I don't know. People kind of look down and kick their teddy bear down the beach. And I mean, when I left, they were wearing masks in the lake. <laughs> so, but down here, everyone says hello. I don't know if that's because I say hello to everyone. I, most people say hello if you don't, but I don't. I don't give them the chance to not say hello when you're walking by them. So. I'm just going to take you through, and, and a lot of the prices are going to be in the show description wherever you're watching it. What's up, Twitter? Only one account is broadcasting today, and it's called At Buying Dominican. Only one account on YouTube is running live right now. It's called At Buying Dominican Republic. I haven't figured out a fix for Instagram or TikTok or whatever, but we're on DLive, and we're on, uh, what's the other one? Twitch. Twitter. YouTube, fake book, we got you. We're everywhere. Thanks for joining in. And for uh, this, actually, the inspiration for this video came from a YouTube comment saying, you should do a video all about the prices in the Dominican Republic. So I can't remember who, whose request it was, but I replied. I replied to all the messages usually on YouTube and Twitter. And... Um, so here we go. Um, I don't have this in the notes, but I bought an Indian built dot, not feather, and not an Indian brand, you know, the Indian brand motorcycle. 
I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a motorcycle that was built in India. Okay. Brand new. It was the last year's model. It was at the end of the model year. Nice little bike. 180 cc. Does about 7,500 RPM at 100 kilometers. But it'll go faster if you need to. But I wish I had a sixth gear in it because... Well, because I want to go faster. But... I'm going out here. I mean, you only hit 100 kilometers or more, like here and there. I just I try and keep the speed down. Always travel with a helmet. Helmet cost me 60 bucks from Amazon. The bike cost me 3,000. And the guy I bought it from, uh, Eddie's Racing, right here on the number five in Sasua. He says, you know what? I'll give you terms on it. I'm like, terms? Really? How much? He says, 1,000 down and 140 a month. I think it was 7,000 pesos a month for 16 months. I'm like, cool keep my cash so I paid the finance fee and paid it off early and um, for 3,000 bucks I got my me a nice little machine and it came with a year's worth of insurance what type of insurance do you need on a bike <laughs> you're the one that's gonna die <laughs> I don't know, maybe if you crash into a car and do damage you're covered I don't know I was getting some gas from Texaco down here, and I don't want to talk bad about a local business, but I don't recommend them for gas unless you like water in your gas, and then your floats will stick, and then you got to walk it down because it just leaks. Once the floats stick, the car, the carbon, the uh, gasoline goes everywhere. I think that's what's been happening, and so the first time it happened, I pushed my bike down to the bike shop I was luckily just around the corner and I it quit right in front of the Sasua sign and I pushed it around the corner and man it was summer it was hot I pushed it back to the mechanics place and I don't know how much it costs you when your floats stick in Canada but usually I don't know 100 bucks to look at it 150 bucks to tr troubleshoot it 150 bucks to fix it 150 bucks in taxes and carbon fees <laughs> I don't know 30 bucks it cost me. Took him a couple hours. I had to walk home. He came and picked me up. 30 bucks. He says, yeah, I got I to gotta tear it all down and this and that and this and that. <laughs> I had the same problem uh, broke down in Cabarete and uh, took a moto back to my office just before the rain hit. And Junior, the property management guy that does the maintenance around the plaza, I said, bro, can you go get my bike? And... Um, fix it and bring it back to me he says sure and he barely speaks english and i sp barely speak spanish it's coming a little bit necesito <laughs> necesito estudiar más español no tengo mucho tiempo i need to study more spanish but i don't have much time anyway so i said to junior i said can you go get my bike he goes sure and he starts to leave me. he says hey he comes back he says uh, hey give me some money I said, how much? I don't know. 500 pesos. Okay. So I give him 500 pesos. He hails a moto. He goes down to Kite Beach, which is, you know, five minutes from where my office is in Cabrete. And uh, picks up the bike. I don't know what he did with it, but he got it running. And then he probably took it to a buddy's or a mechanic's place and drained the tank, gave him the gas with the water in it, put... 200 pesos worth of fresh gas in it and then drove it back to me and delivered it running and then I tried to give him more money I said you need some more money uh, <laughs> necesito mas dinero no mi hermano I love you <laughs> it's te, te, am, te amo means I love you like to a woman like I'm romantically in love with you but I tell all my boys that te amo te amo te amo <laughs> what's the normal way to say it uh, I can't remember how they say it. I want you. Tu quiero? Tu quiero, I think. Ooh. Anyway, um, if you break down, don't fret. It's not the end of the world. So I don't know how much it, you know, it costs you to work on your bike back home, but cost me about 300 pesos to have someone wash it <laughs> an oil change 
a filter, a lube. And in this case, they did all that and then also replaced my rear brake sensor. He quoted me tres mil, that's 3,000 pesos, which is 60 bucks. And then, no, what did he quote me? Ocho mil? Ocho mil, yeah, he, charged, he quoted me 8,000 for it. And then when he picked me up, he said, no, don't worry about it, 3,000. What? Under? Under the price he quoted me? That's crazy. See, now I'm going by memory. I'm probably messing it all up. My numbers are probably off. Okay, let's hit this. Well, what's this? You don't want to hit that. What happened? The producer sucks. Oh, what happened? Okay, where's my email here? I should have something open here. I'm just going to read you verbatim, but it, the, uh, there we go. Okay, so just quickly, and I'll upload this later and SEO it for what's in the video. An MRI is going to cost you 150 American or 200 CAD. That's Canadian. Um, 8,800 pesos. And on Monday morning, the week that I was searching for an MRI, I needed two of them on my back. I called them on Monday morning at 9 o'clock. I said, uh, do you have any appointments available? And she said, yes. Can you be here by 11.30? I'm like, 11.30? I'm in Sasu... No. Tomorrow, maybe. She said, okay. Tomorrow. 11 o'clock. Be here. It actually took me longer to have the MRIs done, and it was uncomfortable. I had to go in with my arms up for one of them, and it's, you know, 20 minutes with you laying flat on your back with an arm, your arms up inside this you know confined space it took me longer to get the MRI done both of them done than it took me to actually book well booking the appointment was five minutes but the wait time to get in I don't know where you live but if you're in Canada you're waiting eight months or more for your free MRI nothing's free I got uh, new prescription lenses for my glasses well, I got new frames as well. This is about a year ago now. Oh, not quite that long. New prescription lenses, not including the eye test, which was 40 bucks at 2,000 pesos. And I just roughly look, I kind of consider that 1,000 pesos is, is 20 USD. So I do that rough calculation. I know it's more like 17 USD, but I don't take the time to round it off in my head. A thousand pesos is 20 bucks American, and I don't care what it is in Canadian because nobody cares about Canadian dollars down here. I mean, you can get them, you can convert them, you can spend them, but they're worthless. So I got new plastic lenses, what do they call them? Carbon, carbon fiber or carbon something. So they're not real heavy. 7,000 pesos, 40, so 40 bucks, 2,000 pesos for the test. So that 7,000 pesos is 118 USD or $161 Canadian. Health insurance you can get for as low as 40 bucks and up to 100 bucks a month, but I got a really good package that included just about everything for 60. And I have your connection. She's right in Sasua. I needed dynamic x-rays also for my back, which has been cured by hemp oil. Thank you, God. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out that, you know, I should get back on the hemp oil after 25 years of being on and off it. Ordered a jug from Amazon for 60 bucks. It was another 60 bucks to ship it from Miami here. So for 120 bucks, I had a new jug of oil and I haven't got my power drink in me yet. It'll be done as soon as I get off here and get to my noon appointment down at the pool for my vitamin D and grounding. I'm ground. I'm going to try and ground every day, get my feet in the beach or on the earth somewhere to ground. I don't, are you grounding when you're standing on concrete? I don't think so. Went down to watch the sunset the other day. Quickly, I was up working, and I'm like, oh, it's sunset time. I'll drive down to the beach. I used to watch the sunset every day when I was at home because I think I was suffering from a mild form of depression, so it's the only thing that really made me happy was going to watch the sunset. <laughs> and down here, I've seen maybe 10. I just don't, 
Sunset? You want to go to the beach? Yeah, go to the beach. Fuck. Call me when you're done. I'll be at the pool. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and now more of... Why am I clicking in and out here? Okay, so, uh, yeah, back to our... What, ha what happened to my... My screen. There we go. Okay, so where do we leave off? Dynamic x-rays. I got two of them done. Dynamic from the standpoint that they had to bend my ass over backwards to get a picture of me in a flexed position, I guess, because they're taking x-rays of my lower back. I got uh, DOS. Two x-rays, six, sorry, one x-ray, 1,600 pesos. That's 27 USD, 37 CAD. And I got um, a full oral 360-degree uh, x-ray for 20 bucks. Walk-in, done immediately. <laughs> so talk to me about inflation. Talk to me about the cost of living. A liter of milk is warm off the shelf. I've gotten kind of used to it, but I was a big milk, milk drinker at home. Down here, I didn't drink milk for about a year because I had a, kind of a bad experience. My first taste of something down here was a brand I don't like. But I list the milk I drink now. I can't remember who. Oh, Rika, I got a ball right here. I just finished this one. Rika. This is, uh, oh, this is 2%. Okay, I thought I was drinking whole milk, but this is 2%, and this thing is a liter, and it costs just 73 pesos. What's that? Roughly a buck 40 US. Mantequilla is butter. You can buy some French salted butter here for three fifty a half pound. What's that? Seven bucks a half pound? What's that? Fourteen dollars a pound? Okay. Not the cheapest, but um, you make it up in other areas. Gasoline is five dollars American roughly for a gallon, and the price hasn't changed since I've been here. I haven't been here two and a half years and the price has gone up twenty pesos. It's subsidized here. The Dominican government subsidizes the cost of petrol, gasoline, and that's for super. And it costs me a thousand bucks to fill my bike and it lasts me a few weeks. I get 450 kilometers out of it. I check it every month. So, um, there's that. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so we got the x-rays. Mortgage rates. Uh, if you qualify through Scotiabank, I have a contact. You can touch me up here and I'll give it to you. I have the direct contact for the bank manager. He's on it. So if you stay on him and get your everything that you need, you know, at back, back home, there's a lot of hoops to jump through to get a mortgage. But if you do it, you get pre-approved. You need 35% down. And a one-year mortgage will cost you eight and a quarter. A three-year mortgage will cost you eight seven five, and a five-year mortgage is locked in at a rate of nine percent per year for a five-year term. Uh, doctor's visit, I pay normally. I go to Gideon. He charges me anywhere between a thousand and two thousand pesos, depending if he's cutting a prescription or giving me, you know, physiotherapy prescription or he's giving me a shot or something. I got a shot of vitamin B right there one time. I think he charged me a thousand pesos for the visit and the shot. Pretty decent. Usually it's about 2,000 pesos or it's about 40 bucks. But depending on where you go and what you need, you can get a simple doctor visit for about 700 pesos. 14 euros. A euro is about equivalent to a USD, I guess. An ultrasound, you're looking at starting at about 800 pesos, depending on how complicated. One night stay in a hospital could cost you about 200 bucks American. 
Uh, yeah, we went over x-rays here. It's a 700 pesos, so it's in line roughly with what I paid, but I needed a specialty. I needed dynamic x-ray, so we already talked about the cost of that. Stool sample, 250 pesos. Complete blood test, about 2,000 pesos or 40 bucks. That's to do everything, your blood count, your cholesterol, your tri triglycerides, triglycerides. <laughs> Eco uh, echocardiogram about a hundred bucks American and then in the show description wow who's paying a buck 24 a liter oh yeah okay a buck 24 that's uh, they're not in uh, in pesos here so milk dollar 24 a liter a liter loaf of fresh white bread 500 grams, buck 40. Rice per kilogram, buck 50. Eggs, 12, 234. I priced them the other day at the little Colmado where I go, Sarah's. Uh, I'm talking Eddie eggs. They're my favorite. They're large, extra large. They're brown. And I said to the guy where I was hanging out at Sarah's, I was actually having a couple beers while I was killing some time being up property managing at Monte Vista. I said, how much are those eggs? Quanto peso? And uh, Volcar, Volcar, Volcar. It's good Italian name, obviously. Volcar. Yeah, German guy. He's always there at Sarah's. Said 130 pesos. I go, oh, yeah, that sounds like a good deal. How much are they at Super Polo? He says, I have no idea. But maybe I'll load up. Last time I was at Super Polo, they didn't have the Eddie Brown extra large egg. So maybe I'll go to Sarah's and get my next two dozen because I always throw a couple in my power drink every day. And I'm a big bacon and eggs guy so 12 roughly 234 american local cheese a kilogram 10 bucks well who gets by who's buying a kilogram of cheese chicken fillets kilogram five bucks beef round kilogram eight bucks apples three bucks banana one dollar a kilogram i pay at my door i pay 10 cents a banana and they're Freaking big. Muy grande. Very big bananas. And I like, there's a couple different uh, strains of bananas down here, but I like them all. Um, what else we got? Chicken's cheap. Kilogram, five bucks. Well, we talked about that already. Oranges, two bucks a kilogram. Tomatoes, two bucks. Potato, buck fifty. Potato, buck fifty. Sorry, tomato, two bucks. Onion, two forty. Lettuce, one head, a dollar. Liter of bottle, one point five liter bottled water, a dollar. I pay a seventy pesos for a twenty liter five gallon jug, delivered plus tip. Now you can get it for cheaper. You can get it for thirty pesos, but you got to go and get it yourself. And this way, I just get it from the building. They charge me seventy pesos, and they bring it to me. So I'm paying about hundred pesos for a five-gallon jug. Bottle of wine. I got a nice bottle of wine for uh, eight hundred pesos. It's a uh, Santa Santa Maria Santa 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 Santa. I can't remember what it is, but it's a beautiful Chilean. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon Cab Sauve and it's 800 pesos in the grocery store that's about 16 bucks but yeah, you can get a mid-range bottle for about 8 bucks domestic beer 236 that's a half liter bottle imported beer 311 cigarettes a pack of Marlboros cost you 4 bucks if you're smoking capitals they're kind of like they're like um, what do you call them off market I don't know if they smuggle them in or whatever, but Capitals, and they're going up right now, but you, sh you used to be able to get a capital, a pack of Capitals for 100 pesos, $1,000, 1,000 pesos a carton, so 20 bucks a carton. Yeah, I said $20 for 10 packs of two, of 20. Capitals are pretty popular down here. They're the closest to Canadian cigarettes that you'll find. They're strong and, you know, they're pretty popular with the expats. But right now, the cost is because they're getting hard to get. Sometimes they run out of them. Maybe the supply chain kind of dries up a little bit. And right now, they're not the 1,000 pesos or 1,150. They're 1,400. 
or f uh, 150 pesos a pack, which is roughly, again, what, three bucks a pack American? Um, it's like the 1970s down here. There's really not all that much regulation. Uh, the government stays out of your life. You can kind of smoke everywhere, you know. Um, when you get pulled over, you don't get nervous like you do in North America. At least I don't. When I used to get pulled over, and I was legal for the most part, but you know what happens. You have a couple beers, and you jump in your car, and you get pulled over, and you think you're going to jail because you don't know. Two, well, two beers is going to put a guy like me over. I'm down to... I'm down to 200 pounds. When I moved down here, I was 235, 225, 235. So, you know, after doing a lot of walking for the first eight weeks that I was here and eating a lot of chicken and beans and rice and salad, I dropped 20 pounds and I had to buy a new belt because my drawers are falling off me. You can get the, the uh, Lilo, Lilo's chicken delivered you get uh, two pieces of deep-fried chicken and a potato salad and a whatever delivered to your house for 150 pesos. Yeah, $103, and it's a good lunch. I mean, you're satisfied after it. I love fried chicken. I love chickens. Chickens are dope. Check out my uh, chickens are dope video. Who is it? Vaughn Miller. I love chickens. Chickens are dope. Can't do the accent right, but I got a good video out there of Von Miller saying chickens are dope. Um, what else do we need to hit here? Is, did I cover most of the things? I covered the bank rates, 35% down. Oh, rents. Uh, I don't think I dove into that. Let me see if I got it in my sheet here. Um. Where did I put my rents? Oh, I can go by memory because I know this. You can get a studio apartment for between three and five hundred a month. American funds, all American funds. Um, you get a one bedroom for six to eight hundred a month, depending on the season. Uh, by the day is a little bit more expensive. There's a whole list of them on Airbnb. I've got studios available for 35 bucks a night. I've got a big two bedroom penthouse, 1400 square foot, two bedroom, two and a half bath with a rooftop patio for 1300 a month or 80 bucks a night on Airbnb. Mm, a two bedroom in my building here runs you eight, 800 to a thousand. My other one is a two bedroom, two and a half bath, two bedroom, two, ba two and a half bath with a rooftop patio. So it's a little bit more at 1300 pesos, but uh, you can find some good deals. Did the, um, we hit the groceries. Do we hit the beer? Yeah, we talked about the beers. Um, right now the American dollar is at 58.5. Last I got Canadian money, I was surprised. What did I get? 37 or... I think it was 37. It was 43 when I moved here, but the Canadian dollar sucks right now compared to the Dominican re Dominican repesos. <laughs> um, so 58.5. So if you have $100 American... You get 5,850 Dominican pesos or 3,700 Dominican pesos for 100 Canadian dollars. <coughs> okay, it's noon. I got to get my power drink in me. Uh, what else do you need from me today? Oh, not that. That's no bueno. This is the YouTube channel, Buying Dominican Republic. Appreciate a sub and some comments and some shares. Hey, clip my clip my shit man what, what do you call it when they make uh, uh, stitches on t well, it's not a stitch but copy my stuff man reproduce my stuff here I am at on the insta I'm building the pro I've got Jim Fannin accounts all over the place but 
building new products with the Dominican real estate brand at buying Dominican on Twatter. Uh, it's all G rated stuff. Just like you're watching me on YouTube right now. All G rated. No politics. I am on t uh, TikTok, TikTok, but I don't do much out there. I got to get active on that. And then the fake book is right here. Uh, let's see. Well, that's not actually right there. I'm looking at my cover photo. Which I've got a guy, if you want SEO, I've got a guy that's cheap in Bangladesh. It's pretty much the going rate anywhere you go. But here's, I'll put it in the comments. That's the fake book. This uh, thing here, I can't remember what he cost me. What it cost me, usually a cover photo of something like 10 or 15 bucks. I'll put the TikTok, not that I'm doing much there, but I'll put that address in the comments section as well. Let me know where you're at, if you're watching live, what part of the world you're at, if you're a realtor or not, if you've got anything uh, question-wise as far as um, moving here, buying real estate, you can reach me directly on the phone. Um, one. 809-330-8926. That's 1-809-330-8926. Email is buyingdominicanrepublic at gmail.com. Here's all the websites you can hit if uh, you need more information. By all means, touch me up. I'm glad to help. Um... We're looking for, we're going to bring on an, a Spanish teacher soon. Maybe give you some free lessons. Free for you, not for me. And um, what else I got coming up? Uh, Mario Dragos, I'm still working on getting him secured. Should go shoot him a message right now. This is good radio, eh? Bro, we got to rebook that uh, interview. Let's uh, get you uh, booked and ready to go. Hope everything's good. Peace. Everything goes by voicemail. Bro, we got to rebook that uh, interview. Let's like voice messages. That's all we do here. Get you, uh, and, ready to go. and Mario Dragos, I'll give you his contact number. He's on the South Shore. He doesn't mind when I share his details. He's a realtor. Been here a long time. You can reach him directly if you need information in Punta Cana, real estate. He's got a legal firm now as well. I hope he opens up an office here in Sasua, both real estate and uh, legal, but I think he's going to start with the legal department first just to make sure he's got the North Coast covered. Uh, he's at 1-809-905-5535. Mario P. Dragos, Cressman Realty and Cressman Legal Firm, I think it's called. Something in Cressman, Cressman and Cressman and Cressman or something. He's at 1-809-905-5535 and mostly you can call, text, or WhatsApp that, but mostly we're WhatsApp. And I bet you before I'm done this show and I'm wrapping it up right now, it's summer's back. Well, summer's not back, but spring is here and it feels like summer. It's... um. Poco color. We spent all winter here from November to March. Just beautiful. Even three or four nights ago, it was 65 degrees at night here. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. And now it's still getting down to 70 at night, but soon it's going to be 80 at night. And that's, that's a too much. That's a too, too much. Muy, muy caliente. Mucho calor. No frío, no bueno. <laughs> anyway, uh, touch up Dragos. I'm going to have him on soon. Um, you're not watching me. Uh, you're watching me on all my, uh, my, uh, my, 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 my Dominican feeds. But I d on the other channels, I do have an interview with Max Bernier. I did a week and a half ago. Good interview. Max always makes uh, time for me. And although I'm kind of out of politics as far as broad broad broadcasting goes. I still uh, pay attention, and uh, I'll still take the odd interview. I'm working on Kumia. I'd love to get Anthony Kumia. He just had a triple, quadruple bypass. He got a new heart, basically. Quit drinking. 
and he still broadcasts every day, Monday to Friday, around 4 o'clock on uh, Compound Media. Uh, he does a show with Gavin live every Wednesday at 4 o'clock for about an hour and a half. And um, dude, sober, and just one of the funniest men on the planet. And he's going, he's going deep in Twitter right now. He's got a monetized account, and he's just aggravating people. And if you're a jackass on Facebook and people hate you, you make money from it. <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> so I'm working on Kumia. Uh, one day I'll, I'll land the, the, my orca, the whale, which is Gavin McKinnis. But other than that, I'm, uh, I stay non-political out here. So that's it for today. I'll upload a replay of this copy of this live broadcast <coughs> in the next day or so. Get it all SEO'd. If you need an SEO guy, I got you. His name's Hassan. If you search my channel, you can see a video of me and him talking. And I'm working on a, on a, on a mailer to go out to my 7,000 contacts. It hasn't landed yet, um, but my next video will be a how-to. It will be the 20 minutes that it took to set that up through MailChimp and starring my, my boy, Hassan, my 24-year-old Bangladeshi kid. So peace, love, hug your neighbor, and I highly recommend cashing in some of your real estate equity and bring it south to the Dominican Republic, specifically the North Coast. Sasua or Cabarete. I love you, and I am out.